Well, today is Giving Tuesday when many charities encourage people to make donations. There are more than one and a half million charitable organizations in the U.S. So sorting through which ones are legitimate isn't always easy. ABC's Melissa Adon has tips on what to look for. Requests for donations at this time of year can sometimes be overwhelming, but there are things you can do to give yourself confidence in an organization you're thinking about donating to. The first step that you can take is just make sure that it is a valid 501c3 nonprofit. That's the tax code for the IRS in regards to public charities. And so you want to make sure again that it's a, they are who they, they say that they are. Websites like Charity Navigator have information about different charities' programs and how the donations they receive are being used. Experts say there are red flags to watch out for so you don't get scammed. If it's really high pressure, they're contacting you by email or phone or text message and you've never engaged with them before, um, that's typically where you're seeing scams pop up. Potential donors should also be aware of charities that have similar names to legitimate charities that you're already familiar with. You may think that you're connecting to one organization that you know and love, but it could actually be another organization that you don't know and love or somebody that's actually presenting to be that organization. How a charity asks you to donate can also be a warning sign. Certainly, you know, if you're receiving outreach from an individual and they're asking you to send a gift card or cryptocurrency, those are also red flags as well. Also, consider charities near where you live so you can evaluate their impact more easily. Look for organizations that are in your community that, again, have a proven track record, that have been around, that have good trust indicators in regards to testimonials of the people that they serve. They're able to clearly articulate their mission. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles.